already? Whoa, you're here already. Oh, wait, oh. Whoa. Um, Oliver, you're rubbing off on me. We just slept in for a high. Le le welcome back aboard the nostalgia train. You got here somehow before I even was awake. Um, let, 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 let's go. So, as was said last time, we got a few side quests to take care of in this episode. Derwin, I think, was the only one that was taken care of last time. Hi. Um. Nature's tongue? C can I talk to you? Hello, I want you to do something for me. I am simply starving. Can you hear my tummy rumbling? Might you have a tasty morsel for a hungry la ya uh, la paca? Oh, so you want food, huh? Um, sorry, Mr. Lapaka. But, what do you eat? Uh, my kind are fed hay. Morning, noon, and night. But I have grown tired of its frankly one-dimensional taste and uninviting texture. Is the merest hint of luxury too much to ask? A little gourmet treat, perhaps? Gourmet treat? Huh? Precisely. Would it be so wrong for a humble apaka to sample the delights of a juicy babana from Alma Moon? How the heck he heard about babanas? We'll never flip it, no. <clears throat> there was a merchant who once came here. Amongst his wares were fresh babanas. Ever since I first set eyes upon them, they have captivated me. I simply must try one. Might you be willing to provide me with one? Bring me a babana, and I am sure I can find something similarly desirable to offer you in exchange. Sure. Okay, sure. Just wait there. Thank you. My tummy is rumbling with anticipation. Time to go to Alma Moon. Wait, they sell babanas? Like, actually sell in game sell babanas? I didn't know that! Or maybe I did and I just forgot. I don't know. What? There are people here who need help too? Oh boy. Should I just go to freaking. Oh boy. This is going to be a side quest episode, we can say that right now. Um. Uh, hi, Rashad. Hey, do you sell babanas? Shadah uh, hides himself away in the far north of the continent of Autumnia, beyond a fetid swamp, cloaked in a foul miasma. Sadly, the one instrument capable of lifting this pall lives now only in legend. <clears throat> That's a problem. Must have killed the person who carried the instrument or something. So, is there a place where I can actually buy Babanas? Or maybe that's what that guy earlier beforehand was. Maybe that's all he was. Just, let's try. Let's try this guy. I think that's all he probably was, wasn't it? Hello? Ugh! What have I done with my life? Perhaps my farming days are at an end. But husband, what has become of you? You used to love your babana so. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I ask what seems to be the problem? It's my husband. Suddenly he tells me that he wishes to retire from his beloved babana growing. He does? But why? He says that the fruit that has been his life for so many years no longer interests him. I have given my life. I have given my life to the babana. But no longer. Those accursed fruits will dictate the pattern of my days no more. Are you okay? No. But babana growings, all you know, ain't it? I don't know what will everyone do without you supply to supply them with lovely tasting fresh fruit. That is not a problem. I will simply entrust my farm to the care of another, one younger, who feels the passion I have lost. 
seems kind of weird that he would just stop loving bananas all of a sudden, huh, Mr. Jippy? You think he might be... Yeah, I reckon he might be, Ollie boy. If you ask me, our friend here is lacking a bit of old love. We should help him out, ain't it? Do I even have love in my arsenal right now? I don't. Do I? Well... Crap. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. That way I have record of all the different... Oh my god. Uh... I mean... We're, we're, we're gonna be doing this for a while. Uh... Slap my pickle and call me Jerry because we're gonna be doing this a while. That made no sense. But since when does anything I ever make make any sense whatsoever? But you, do you provide love? Look, have you ever seen a sight more beautiful than- Wait, didn't I- Have I talked to you? I'm doing a separate file, so maybe it was just on that. You ever seen a sight more beautiful than the evening sun from this mountain? Gee, you're right. It sure is pretty. I see clouds. I see cloud and rock. There's no sun. Flippin' heck. Get a lot of that. You don't see a view like that every day. Yes, drink it in, for this beauty is all for us to enjoy. From this mountain we see the sun sink into the sea each evening. A bid farewell to the day. We watch each of the colors drain from the world. As the night sky dawns in starry robes, its beauty takes my breath away every time. Wow, I bet that's really something. I sure would love to see it. Oh, but you must, you must! Nowhere in this world has a sunset that can match that of Perdita. Of that, I am sure. This lady's sure got a lot of confidence. Well, is that any blooming wonder? That's a backdrop and a half mug. Makes me look all epic and windswept, ain't it? Where are the crickets? Because that's all. That's that's the only thing that statement deserves. What are you giving me that look for? If you've got something to say, spit it out, man. Um, pardon me, ma'am. I was wondering if you could maybe help us out. Well, I'm not sure if I'm able to. What is it you want from me? Whoa. Kind of a devastating way to say that, but okay. Listening to you talk about the view, you sound real sure of what you think. I was wondering if you might share some of your confidence with us. You wish to borrow my confidence? Truly, you say strange things. But I see that you mean no harm. Please, proceed. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, here we go. Okay, take heart. It's the only thing in my inventory when it comes to that locket. Hey, hey, hey. My heart, it tingles. Ah, look. The sun begins its descent. Please do not miss the beauty about to unfold. Unfortunately, we got a lot of work to do, so unfortunately, we probably will. Hi. Come from another land. This is our home. Petite is small, but we have big hearts. Hermana? I am so hungry. I am sorry, Hermanito. I will prepare dinner now. What do you want to eat? Oh, thank you, Hermana. Can you make stew again? Please, Hermana. Is he your little brother, miss? You two seem to get along real well. We get along very well, it is true. But he is not my real brother. Really? Seeing you act so kind. I was sure you must be family. As you see, our town is very small. We are all like family here. Wow. Gee, I wonder what this person might have. Eh, it can't be love. 
you know, the thing that I really need right now. Nah, it can't be that. Everyone in this town cares for each other. We look after the young and the old as if they were our own family. Gee, a town where everybody treats each other like family sure sounds nice. Wish that existed in real life. Yes, we are truly blessed. I love my home with all my heart. Wow, this girl sure has a whole lot of love, huh, Mr. Drippy? Um, excuse me, miss. We were wondering if we could ask you for a favor. I'm not even going to let you talk, Drippy. You need to be quiet this whole video. You say one word and I'll smack you. <laughs> favor? Please, tell me more. Well, um, we were wondering if you'd be kind enough to share some of the love in your heart. <laughs> Truly, people from far away are very different from us. Tell me, what must I do? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Just hold still for a second. It won't take long. Yeah, Trippy, you're not allowed to say anything anymore. One word, and I'm going to smack you. You obtained some love. Is it over now? I'm not sure what you did, but my heart feels light. Havana, I am so hungry. Uh, we have dinner now, Havanito. Okay. Eh, excuse me. Oh, no. Uh, why do I get the feeling that this one's missing love? Well... One mission at a time. It's right there, me. Come on. <sighs> this is going to be one lengthy mission, though. Good. Drippy is not talking. Drippy! What did I just say? Do. Not. Speak. <laughs> All right, man. Jeez. Got some love there, ain't it? Cast give heart and hand it over. Drippy, what did I just say? I'm watching you. Jeez, man. You have a knack for giving... Difficult... Giving fairies difficult times, ain't it? What did I just say? Trippy doesn't know when to shut up. This one. Here we go. Was this the merchant, possibly? What is this feeling? I feel... better. By the ancients! I must return to the farm immediately. My beloved Babanas will wither and die without my care and attention. Nino, we healed him. Now he loves Babanas more than ever. Seems I do. What's this here doing, boy? Then you deserve thanks. Here, forgive me. It is a mere trifle. Cool. Are you not the merchant I'm looking for? Where is the merchant I was thinking of? The specific Babana merchant, and I don't know where to look. <sighs> hmm? Who's there? Uh, yeah, 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 you. I get it. There we go. Thanks. And we're out of here. Bye, everyone. Have a nice day. Maybe. I don't know. All right, long boy. First, this, second. I'm going to be using a lot of magic in this, aren't I? Go 
gosh, it's a Bavana. I'm going to enjoy this. This is delicious. So sweet and soft and fruity. Ah, oh, it makes a change from hay, I can tell you. Look at him gobble it down. In Bavana, how did he is? Drippy, no one needs your smart mouth to be yapping. I don't know how many times I have to say it. <laughs> Shut! May have missed. Maybe that's the problem. Huh. Yeah, you sure does seem to be enjoying it. <laughs> oh, that was delicious. But having experienced such a gastronomic marvel, it is clear to me just what I've been missing. I must taste further delight. Oh, jeez. Still hungry, is it? Pretty great hairy lump. You're gonna get my ass kicked out of this place, Drippy. Shut up! Let me see. A glow shrimp? So, now you want me to go over to Castaway Cove. Hold on, Furface. How did a lapaca in the middle of the flippin' mountains come to hear of a rare and exotic type of seafood then, eh? Merchants who come to Perdita often speak of strange and wonderful foods. I don't think I can understand, but I am listening. This Harry Platt has got an answer for everything. Well, I guess we could bring you a glow shrimp. Excellent! I shall wait here for said exquisite morsel. Do I have a glow shrimp? I want to make sure I don't have the things before actually going and getting them. And it looks like it's a bunch of berries and jewels. Okay, I guess not. Uh, then, if I were to take a guess, Castaway Cove. Uh, David Travel. Alright, we're in Castaway Cove, and now let's put on our swim truck so we can go inside. Drippy, you stay at Drippy. What did I just say? Uh, he can't help but follow, can he? Hi. Steam customer, would you care to cast an eye over my wares? Yeah, sure. Dumb flounder. And there's a glow shrimp right there. How'd I know? So basically the requirement to finish this is just go to each merchant and buy the thing that's requested of you. Hi. Oh, oh my. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, you have come to listen to my woes, perhaps? Uh, sure, I guess. I'd be happy to listen. Well, believe it or not, the broken man you see before you is engaged to marry. My betrothed possesses beauty and kindness beyond imagining. Her mind is the most sharp. Her clothing, it is immaculate. Ah. Uh. She sounds too good to be true, man. What's he so freaking miserable about that? Oh, please forgive me. I should not be boasting about my future wife. I have much graver concerns, after all. You see, my beloved has been treating me with a certain indifference of late. Oh, the anguish. Nothing could pay me more. My love for her is all-consuming. The very thought that it is not fully reciprocated. I don't think you need me to tell you that this fellow's got a bit of love surplus, Ollie boy. Uh Yeah. I guess he must have. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind if we borrowed a little of your love? Might be able to use it to help your fiance remember how she felt before. Really? Well, that would be... Please, take whatever you need. Okay, just stand still for a little while. I thought I had some love. Did I already use it? Who did I use it on? Oh, duh. Never mind. Poor guy. Oh, what a curious warm sensation. D does this mean... Has she returned to her old self? Does she love me once more, perhaps? Uh, 
Well, she will do. What? Well, she will do, I guess. But... Oh, thank the, thank the ancients. I must go and see her immediately. Ha! Oops. She's across the way, isn't she? That's her over there, isn't it? That right there is her, isn't it? Hi. Oh dear, oh, what am I to do? What's the matter, miss? You seem kind of worried. Oh, yes, it is my beloved. I no longer feel anything towards him. Gee, that sounds kind of sad. Did he do something wrong? No, he has been a perfect gentleman. I, I, I simply do not care for him anymore. Ouch. Sheesh. Chukurpi, do not give your two cents. <sighs> Jeez, what? Am I not allowed to say anything? No. No. Okay. <laughs> well, these things happen, man. It probably wasn't right for you, ain't it? Let's move on, I say. Plenty more fish in the sea. But though I love him no longer, I, I still cannot bear to be apart from him. Well, what am I to do? Uh, this is really weird. Do you know what's going on, Mr. Drippy? No, don't ask him. She's broken hearted. There you go. You know what, Honey Boy? I reckon she's broken hearted. I just said that. Shut up. Yes, I'll help her. Come on, Mr. Drippy. Let's help her. Teddy, let's get cracking. Yeah, I know. Give heart. <sighs> One word out of you, Drippy, and I'm smacking you. Again. For like the seventh time. Oh my. I don't know why, but I cannot wait to see my beloved. I must tell him how much I love him. Okay, there we go. That's better. Oh, great. You, uh, like him again then? Of course I do. I love him. I love him as much as I did the day we first met. Thank you, young man. You have saved me. I fear I would never know true happiness. Please take this. Though it can express only the tiniest fraction of my appreciation. Okay. I'll take it. Alright. Oops. Okay, there's nothing else to do in Castaway Cove. I did not mean to do that. I know I don't think there's anyone else in Alma Moon. We could go from place to place, but first Perdita. Let's go back and feed the dang llama who's being very, very, very greedy. And I know we're not done after this, unfortunately. Oh my gosh. Hi. I say, it's a glow shrimp. How delightful. I can't wait to taste it. This is exquisite. I've never tasted anything quite like this. It's tender and succulent, and leaves a delightful tang on the tongue. So this is why people make such a fuss about seafood. Sure. Listen to the way this hairball is carrying on. Poof. Let's just imagine me just kicking Drippy in the nose for that. He's quit the culinary connoisseur, ain't it? He sure seems to know a lot about food. That was a real treat. Now, on to the next course. The next course? This ain't some fancy flippin' restaurant, you cheeky so-and-so. Um, are you sure eating all this unusual food won't give you a stomach ache? I thank you for your consent, but I shall be fine. Now, on to the next course! I'll accept all a black truffle. You what? Do you know how much those flipping things cost? Cost? 
I find the subject distasteful. Flavor is all that matters to me. But if you think money is more important than a hungry little Paca's humble dream... Well, I guess we can bring you a black truffle. Do I already have one? That smell! Musk! Nuts! Dung! Must be a black truffle. Oh, I am going to enjoy this, I assure you. Yep, that's what I figured. No, 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 no. This is extra... ordinary. Ah. Uh. Flippin' heck. I never thought I'd live to see a Lapaka gorging himself on a black truffle. There can be no mistake. The black truffle is indeed the king of foods. It is richly fragrant and boasts a flavor of incomparable depth. A taste for the true connoisseur. Jeepers! Sure does know his food. Some real fancy words, too. But the texture was nothing special. That begins the case. A snow rest. Seriously, dude. Bah! Got the bit of the... Ow! What the heck was that for, man? I told you to be quiet. You really don't... Listen. This is your fault, Drippy. This guy won't shut up because you won't shut up. This guy. I pointed this way. I meant to point this way. This guy won't shut up because you won't shut up. Now shut up. How long's the greedy footpath going to keep eating? That's why he won't shut up. Because you're saying stuff like that. Uh, he still seems pretty hungry. Can't wait for the next course. My tummy's run off. Shut up. <sighs> to you we go. Drippy, I blame you. Because Drippy won't be quiet. No matter how many times I smack him across the forehead, he won't be quiet. I think I already have some low. I'm gonna... Oh, boy. And you? Ugh, you are being so bothersome. I must work. I have not the time to worry about you also. What is having happened to you, husband? You are behaving so coldly. Is something the matter, ma'am? Our, be our beautiful boy child is having a fever, so I am thinking to go to the doctor, but my husband is saying this is no fever at all, and to not be bothering people. Yes, yes, wife. I am doubting that this little boy will be caring much for your vexations. Go to home with you now. Wow. How is this ever having... How is this ever having been the man who once cared for his family so? <laughs> you are tiring me. Mr. Jippy, when somebody changes all of a sudden, that can only mean one thing, right? That's right, honey boy. Brokenheartedness. How much I want to smack you. There ain't a single drop of love. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, I'm not listening to you, Drippy. Family is the most important thing there is. Mr. Drippy, we have to help them. That's a good fun. Blah, 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 blah. If you want to read it, go ahead. I'm getting sick and tired of hearing his voice. Drippy, you shut the head. It's just a... And now he's ignoring me. Let's give him back the love he's lost, shall we? Come on. Let's go and find some. Got it. Just no fever. Silence! Okay, I don't have love. I thought I had love. I've been using love left and right, haven't I? Hi! Oh, so sweet! So fluffy, fluffy, fluffy! Oh boy. You are making me blush, yes? So fluffy, fluffy, fluffy! I will see you, fluffy, fluffy, fluffy! You are thinking I'm so awesome, yes? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Drippy. You just can't shut up, can you? I haven't said anything, Mom. I blame you for all the talking that makes absolutely no sense today because of your non-incessant this. He is, huh? He's real cute. He is, he is, he is! I love my fluffy, fluffy, fluffy! There is being no other for me! Oh, that's adorable. Jeepers! Look at the locket. I guess she really does have a lot of love for her friend, huh? Looks like it, eh? <sighs> hey, would you let us 
have a little of the love you feel for your fluid friend? Yes, yes, yes! I am worrying that I love him too much! Please, you must take some! Thanks! Just hold still for one moment. This is just gonna make you love him more, but who cares? <laughs> Which doesn't really make sense, but... Y you know. Woo! This is feeling very strange. But what will you use my love? We're going to use it to help people who don't have enough love for themselves. Truly? Will they also be becoming lovers of my fluffy, fluffy, fluffy? Uh, d yeah. Gee, I don't know. Uh, I mean, sure they will. Uh, okay. Alright, butthole. Yes, we know how this works by now, Oliver. <sighs> I meant to use this one. <laughs> I blame frickin' Drippy. What am I? Husband? Are you being better? Yes, I am not knowing what happened to me. Forgive me, wife. Wait. We must be taking our beautiful boy child towards the doctor with haste. Looks like he's cured, huh? Thank goodness for that. That he is. No, oh, thanks for the obvious, Drippy. This is why I smack you all the time. Every time Drippy talks, I'm just gonna back. I'm just gonna backlash at him. That he is. We couldn't let a family in need pass us by now, could we? Thank you extremely. This is being a trifle, only a trifle. But may it show some of my thanks. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Dope. Yo, I love it. Anybody else here need help? Oh, all right, we're out of here. No, we're not. We came here for a merchant. We have not seen said merchant. But I forgot what I'm supposed to buy from said merchant. Son of a gun. I'll probably remember once I see it. Snow, it's this. What did I say? Once I saw it, I, I'd remember. At least snow rashes don't really... I already had one. I have five! Before we go back... Eh, who am I kidding? I was gonna go to Ding Dong Dell, but we'll wait. We'll wait. I don't think there's gonna be very much to do in Ding Dong Dell anyway. Alright! Finally, this dumbbell can shut up. Hopefully. There it is. Drippy, if you say one word while I'm discussing this, I will ignore it. I will look at the lettering, ignore you, and just move on. Oh, you brought me a snow radish. And without further ado, I'm going to tuck it. Okay. Ah, the crispy, crunchy texture is just so moorish. And snow radishes are good for you, too. Well, it's basically a frozen radish. What do you expect? Its delightful ickiness sends a tingle down the spine. Oh, well, I'm glad you like it. You enjoyed it. I do declare that I have eaten enough. My belly is fit to burst. Thank you for indulging my whims and taking this humble lapaca on a whirlwind culinary tour of the world. Well, I mean, it also helped me satisfy some other individuals who were going through struggles, so... Cool. For you delivered those delicate morsels, I had tasted only hay. And a shoe. Out of curiosity. Rest assured, I shan't forget the flavors you have so kindly introduced me to. If you get sick, blame yourself. Now I promised that I would reward you, and so I shall. Here you go. A leech gem? I haven't used a single gem in this entire playthrough, have I? Okay. Okay, cool. Oh, and there's more. I have a fine formula. 
Okay. He said to make something tasty and feel free to drop by and share it with my me anytime. He's got some good cheek. What? Trippy, what did I just say? Like two minutes ago. When I smacked my hand down, I could feel a vibration through the seat of my chair for like two seconds straight. <laughs> Does he think of nothing but his stomach or what? I mean, it's a formula. It helps fill out the book that apparently got emptied out at a point. Alright. So, how many more side quests? Three? We might be able to finish this off today, actually. Let's try. Let us try. Not you. The little girly girl here. Uh, I cannot forget that dream. Um, what's the matter? It was yesterday. I had a strange dream. What kind of dream was it? It was like no dream I have ever had. There was a girl who looked just like me. She had my face. She lived in... A side quest is requesting me to go to Motorville. I dreamed the girl was planting flowers. I have never seen before. Beautiful flowers. Gee, that does sound like a strange dream. It was, and I felt something too. Though I do not know how, the girl and I, we were joined. It's hard to explain. Not really. I completely get it. <laughs> I reckon the girl she saw in her dream was from your world, Ollie boy. The soulmates, most likely. What did you say? Does this boy really come from the same place as the girl in my dream? From another world? That's right. I come from another world. Completely different from yours. Is it true? It is incredible. Can I ask you something? In case you ever meet that girl I saw? Um, sure, I guess. What I want is a flower. I would like very much to have one of the flowers that the girl in my dreams grew. I can... Okay. Let's go do that now. Sounds to me like it's time to dust off a certain spell. Yeah, I don't think we've used that spell in a while. I guess we'd better go find a girl who looks just like her. Alright. Let's go. I said we were almost done, but this might take a while, because I don't know where the heck I'm supposed to find this person. In the grand scheme, scheme of things, how in the... Okay, well... This is going to be an interesting search. It doesn't even show me where she would be. I'm looking for a girl who looks a lot like... That was easy. Hey, Mr. Dribby. This girl is... That she is, my lad. <laughs> Her and that little missy over by Perdita could be twins, man. Soulmates they are. Or I'm a donkey's dad. You are a donkey's dad. <laughs> that's, that's not even a question. Huh? What do you want? I have something to ask you. Flowers you grow, do you have any pink ones? Sure, I have pink tulips. They're really pretty. You do? Do you think you might let me have some? I would. They're all dried up. Huh? Dried up? Yep. Look. Boy, they are kind of shriveled, huh? Mr. Reviews it. Yes, there is. We've got a spell for it. How am I supposed to know? Pfft. Don't backsass me. Only I can backsass me. I can use magic to bring them back. Uh, rejuvenate, I believe. Wherever it might be at this point. There we go. Rejuvenate. Look at that. The bloomin' bloomin'. That's beautiful. Nice one, Ollie boy. Nino! The flowers come right back to life. Wow, you're amazing! That was like magic. 
Like magic, she says. The cheek of it. That was magic, love. The real deal. Huh? Did you hear something? I thought I heard somebody yelling. No way, man. She can hear me. How do, love? Nice weather we've been having, ain't it? Mr. Trippy. Not now. Not ever. Did you just hear a voice down near the ground there? Uh, no. Guess it must have been the wind. Anyway, how about those flowers? Can I maybe have some? Sure. But you have to promise to show me another magic trick next time. Trick? That's no trick, man. The spells. Spells, you cheeky little. Thank you for shutting him up, game. Now, let's get back to that other girl. Oh, there's too many spells on here. <laughs> there are too many spells. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, time to get back to the girl. And dang it, didn't have time. <sighs> 40 freaking one minutes. Not you. We're almost done with the side quest, though. But then again, we probably, also, we probably also have bounties to take care of, too. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is just like the flower of my dreams. It's funny. I don't remember there being flowers like that in Motorville. I guess I never really looked. There's something very calming about flowers. Do you not think? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for bringing me the flower. Please accept this. Dang. Uh, I'm going to have a hard time not accepting that. Thank you. How many more individuals need help? Two. Two individuals, and then we'll also have to take care of any bounties, which... Are there... Are there any bounties? I'm not going to accept them until next time. That way, if there are... Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing every time. No! It's literally just the two side quests. Hmm. Okay. Can we take care of any merit awards? Probably do one of these two. Further increase the amount of experience gained through taking part in battle. I am going to need that more than the alternative. Oh, big time. Anyway, <sighs> I'm a go nap again. Wait. Oh, that's a light. Never mind. <sighs> I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm gonna send Ollie Boy back to where he started. Uh, maybe I'll do some outside the area grinding as far as like, I uh, like side stuff like to, to level up just to tell the difference between the two goes but in the meantime while i go nap in the place i'm supposed to be which is not here um i'm gonna leave this video here so thank you everything working okay okay i looked away and I, while i was looking away i thought i saw lag i'm losing my mind anyway Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. Also, remastered, not the original. I probably should say that. If you really liked this video, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm going to beat the crap out of Drippy if he starts talking in my ear while I'm off doing stuff. If you want to check out any other stuff I've done by Bandai Namco or Level 5, there's only one right now. It'll be in the bottom right corner. Trying to take you to how much I actually did in that. Or if you want to check out any of the rest of the stops on this ride, link across my head and the train will take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination where we hope to catch you all in another ride. Bye!